Hey guys, welcome to the Sometimes Random Occasionally Every Once in a While Pastors Vlog. And this summer, I want to share with you some of the books that I'm going to be reading. Whether you're sitting outside on the deck as I am at this moment. to the sometimes random, occasionally every once in a while vlog. It is amazing how fast they go. Maybe Maybe you read in a recliner. Maybe, maybe you read at the pool. At the gym. Maybe you read at Starbucks. At the beach. Just don't get the book wet. Read at the library, but shh, other people are reading too. Maybe you read from a Kindle, from an iPhone, from iBooks. No matter how you read, Mm, let me show you what I'm going to be reading and what I recommend to you this summer. They're good. The first book is a book I read uh, several times. I've read several times. It's Too Busy Not to Pray by Bill Hybels. And it's really all about prayer. It reminds us of the importance of prayer, why we pray, why we don't pray, answer some of our questions of prayer, it is uh, an incredibly inspiring and uh, challenging book. Too busy not to pray. The next one is by one of my favorite authors, a guy by the name, where's his name? There it is, John Maxwell. And he wrote a new book called No Limits. Blow the cap off your capacity. It's basically about how every day matters, every day counts, every day is important, and uh, most of his books are written in similar form, easy to read, quick to read, and great information. Always challenging and inspiring. On leadership as well, Bigger, Faster Leadership by Samuel Chand. This is a new book that just recently came out and it's lessons from the builders of the Panama Canal. I spoke in Panama a few times. I've been to the Panama Canal, and uh, so it's really, really cool to get to read it. We've all heard about the Panama Canal, but what, we can, what can we learn from it when it comes to leadership? Lincoln on Leadership. Now, this is by Donald T. Uh, Phillips. It's um, a longer, he's written a, uh, a book similar to this, but this is for today. So he talks about how Lincoln would deal with today's challenges and today's struggle. I love Lincoln, and uh, I've read several books on his leadership style and uh, inspired by that. And then here's a book. I'm going to be speaking in the fall about who is God. You know, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And this is a, the deeper things of God. How the Trinity changes everything. Fred Sanders. Now I haven't read this book. I have uh, heard Fred speak on several occasions and uh, I look forward uh, to reading through it. And I think it's very important for us if you're a Christ follower, to have a deeper understanding of, of who God is and who the Holy Spirit is. So we'll be looking at that. And then I wanted to throw in just a few extra books. This one's The Mind of the Spirit. Paul's Approach. There's Harley. Are you going to read a book, Harley? This is uh, The Mind of the Spirit, Paul's Approach to Transform Thinking. And this is by a... Um, a theologian, Craig S. Keener. He's written on miracles. Uh, it's, a, it's a long book. It's, you can see, um, it's uh, small print. And uh, how many pages is this book? Uh, it's like 300, 350 pages. Looking forward to diving into that book. And one last one I wanted to share with you, if, uh, for those of you who just uh, want to Go a little bit deeper in your understanding. This is kind of a book commentary. It looks at Romans 9. If you've ever had questions about the doctrine of soteriology, which is salvation, all right, and it looks at Romans 9 in, um, from the perspective that we teach from, 
um, as opposed to what's known as Calvinism, um, which I don't believe is what the scripture actually is proclaiming. But anyways, if you're interested, it's something for you to look at. Well, thanks so much for watching this vlog. There's a few books, maybe in the comments below. What are you reading this summer? Maybe some fiction. I'm not a big fiction reader. I've read a few books uh, on fiction, but what are you reading? Leave it in the comments and maybe we can all learn a little bit of something. Either way, have a great summer and I'll see you on the next vlog because you know, the one you're watching, you know what's coming. It's over.